Okay, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal and Ascend Tarot. So I hope everyone's doing well. So today was a requested video again. Um, pick a card reading. So I've done a lot of these. I kind of slowed down doing the pick a card readings, but if you guys want them back, then I'm happy to do them. Uh, this is something I used to enjoy doing a lot. Uh, but the pick a card, just because there's so many different storylines in what reading, so I always enjoy doing this. Um, so we do have three piles here, okay? So starting with pile one, pile two, and pile three. Okay? Um, <clears throat> so hopefully I remember to list that down below. If not, if someone could do that, that would be absolutely amazing. The timestamps, that is. Um, so if you guys wanted to book a personalized reading with me, right now I'm offering a New Year special, which is 15% off any love reading. So if you are interested, I'm going to post the information down below in the description box. But I'm not going to keep you long. We're going to jump into it. So let's see how your person is currently feeling, uh, thinking and feeling about you, let's say. Okay. So this is pile one. So we're going to start with this. I'm just going push these to push these to the side and we're going to jump into it. All right, so let's see what we have here. We have the world, if you guys can see this or not. We have focus, fall, grateful, the 10 of wands, the nine of pentacles, the page of pentacles, and my fears keep stopping me. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. Pile one. Why do I get the... Okay. To be quite honest, I feel... And this is just current energy, so things can always shift and change. So if you pick this pile and you don't feel like it resonates, you can pick another pile, but... Again, if it doesn't resonate right now, um, or if it does resonate, I mean, things can definitely shift and change, okay? Because I don't know if everyone's going to love this message. But I'm feeling here that your person is feeling that this connection or this situation is just a bit too much for them, okay? I feel like your person wants to be single. Um, they want to be on their own. They want to have their independence. They're so grateful for knowing you. They're so grateful for whatever connection you guys did have, whether it was a relationship, a friendship. They're really grateful for you. Um, they're very appreciative of you. I feel like even if this if this person, um, or if you were to reach out to this person and you know one day and ask for some help, I feel like this person would gladly help you because they're so grateful for you um, and whatever you guys shared together. But. To me, what I'm feeling with this is that your person is kind of focused on other things right now. Um, with the world and the focus card, the world specifically in this deck, well, we know the world talks about closures, ending, cycles ending, um, but in this deck, this talks about expanding, looking out to see what other opportunities are out there, you know, expanding your horizons. And I feel like this person is, that's what they're doing. They're, and it might not be other connections, it could be, but I feel like your person is more so focused on you know, maybe their their uh, their work, their career, building lifelong friendships, traveling the world, all of this. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. This person has sort of all these goals that they want to focus on, but they're so grateful for knowing you because it seems like they learned some really important lessons with you. Um, I do feel here at the Ten of Wands that they're feeling quite burdened by the situation still, so they are feeling pretty, you know, weighed down and heavy. So I don't feel like this person has just completely moved on. Um, I think in the past, this is what was stopping them. So if they had issues in the past in regards to your connection, it's, it was their fears. So you could be dealing with someone who really just does love their independence with this nine of pentacles here. So it could have been that their fears were stopping them. Um, and it seems to me that this could still be kind of an issue with them going forward into other connections. Um, because it looks like with the Ten of Wands, they might be carrying their baggage going forward to the next adventure that they're on. But in terms of how they're feeling about you, I have to say I feel like they feel that the book has closed or the chapter is over, if that makes sense. Um, so guys, if this doesn't resonate with you, totally try another pile, but that's what I'm seeing. I do really feel like this person is moving on or just, you know, doesn't want any hard feelings is what I'm getting, but they are trying to move on. From this situation they feel like it's kind of run its course or that the the chapter is closed or the book is closed whatever that saying is 
okay? So that's what I'm seeing for pile number one. So we're gonna move on to pile number two. So if you guys chose this pinky type of crystal, um, I don't know what that's called. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look here. So how they're feeling about you. We have door to value. We have hope. Self-worth, okay. Inspired. The Eight of Pentacles. The Page of Swords. The Wheel. And I Miss Kissing You. Okay. All right. So right off the bat, I want to start down here. We have the door to value in the self-worth card. So there's something here about this person um, either needing to work on their sense of self. So this person might feel like they don't have enough to offer you. Their, their self-worth is actually very closely related to how much money they make. Okay, So this could be a masculine energy. Um, the reason why I say that is because masculine energy is very connected to the first three chakras going up. So the root chakra, the sacral chakra, and the solar plexus. And the root chakra deals with money, stability, very primal needs. So the masculines, they feel their sense of security and their sense of worthiness based on their, their financial value oftentimes. So um, I'm getting here at the Eight of Pentacles especially because this is a card of working on something, working on your finances, putting in that dedicated effort. Um, what I'm getting is this person feels like you are destined for them. I'm feeling here that you're most likely in a separation with this person, but they feel with the hope card and the wheel of fortune, you're destined to be together. But they feel that right now they don't have enough to offer you. So you have inspired them. Like when this person wakes up in the morning and goes to work or whatever they do when they start working on their projects, whatever it is, they're thinking about you. They're thinking about how they can be they can build a foundation for you and, and them. So your person is thinking long term right now with you. Now, I don't feel like you're talking to your person. So your person might not be communicating that they um, are dealing doing this. And the reason why I feel like they're not telling you that they're planning their future with you is, first of all, they might be worried that you're not still into them. Okay, that's one. The other thing is your person doesn't want to tell you that they're trying to build something for you and then not be able to do it and then let you down. So there's this feeling of, I want to do this behind the scenes, make it happen, and then when I'm ready, I'm going to come to my person because they miss you, okay? They miss the intimate times that you guys shared together. This person 100% has romantic feelings for you. They see you as their long-term future, okay? Um, they're watching you. They are definitely watching you with the Page of Swords, so they're keeping an eye on you. I feel like this person is like, I'm working behind the scenes. I want to know what's going on with my person, though. They don't want to lose you, so this is the thing. They want to focus on work right now. They want to focus on their career. They want to focus on building something, but it's mainly because they want to feel like they're good enough for you. So you've sort of inspired this person. So in the past, if they didn't really care too much about this stuff, if they weren't really that um, focused on finances or their career or any of that, that's changed since they've met you. You sort of inspired this person to be like, you know what, I have to challenge myself. I have to be better. Maybe you, maybe you do really well financially. And so this person is like, I have to meet up. I have to match this person or at least, you know, get close to it because they want to be with you. A hundred percent. This person wants to be with you. Honestly, I keep getting like all, everything I do, I do for you is what I'm getting with this pile. Everything I do, I do for you. Um, now, obviously, this person is doing it for themselves as well, but this person sees a long-term future with you. They see the value that you offer, and they want to be able to match that value. And for whatever reason, this person kind of correlates that to money, so take it out resonates. That's why I'm picking up that it's most likely a masculine energy. Masculine energy can be male or female, okay? Um, but that's what I'm seeing, guys, for pal too. So you guys got a lucky one. I, I mean, if they ever come around, if they ever, you know, find that sense of self-worth, this person seems very dedicated to you, okay? So that's pile number two. So we're gonna move on to pile number three. If you chose this sort of green stone, which is related to the heart chakra. So hopefully this is a good one, guys. We have yin and yang. We have playful, so far so good. We have crossroads, <laughs> confused, okay. Ooh, the three of swords, the six of cups, and the six of pentacles. So we have six six, which talks about balance. And I have I have a plan, but you have to trust me. All right, so interesting. How your person is currently feeling about you. So let's put this up here. 
Okay, so obviously overall kind of energy with the crossroads and the confused is that they don't know. They don't, they're really confused about this situation. Um, you know what's funny is because we have this card, I have a plan, but you have to trust me. I feel like most of you are not trusting this person at all. To be honest, I see why. Um, I don't think you should necessarily trust whatever this person has planned because they are not in a good headspace. They're not in a good headspace. So maybe you did trust this person in the past. Maybe they told you they had a plan or maybe they told you that things were going to be a certain way and that it wasn't. I'm getting a sense that your person is very wishy-washy, okay? So... There's someone who is very, definitely very playful. With the Six of Cups and the Playful card, this is someone who has this sort of adventurous, childlike spirit. However, this kind of reminds me of, um, like, the grown-up who's still kind of living in the parents' basement sort of energy, okay? So this is someone who maybe hasn't quite matured to the level that they need to mature to. Um... And I feel here that your person is really, really, really confused, okay? Um, this is most likely a connection where when things are good, they're good. When things are bad, they're bad. And I feel like this is a situation where you and your person are never really seeing eye to eye, especially with the Six of Pentacles here. I'm just getting here that um, when you're up, your person's down. When your person's up, they're down. Like This is not the most stable connection, to be quite honest with you. Um, they are heartbroken over whatever transpired between the two of you and they are daydreaming about you so they're thinking about you but I don't feel like they're taking any action towards you because they have this crossroads here so they're not sure which direction to take with this connection again I'm just getting this sense of immaturity with your person so I feel like they kind of like when you make the decisions or it's this person has a hard time making decisions on their own they they put a lot of their trust in other people to sort of do things for them and to make decisions for them this is not someone who's stepping into that sort of like king energy or queen energy this is someone who is still like a page okay for those of you who know the tarot this to me feels like someone who has not matured so i don't know if you're dealing with a karmic i don't want to say that necessarily but this seems like it could be sort of a karmic scenario that you're dealing with someone um how they're feeling, I mean, they are heartbroken. I just, this person misses you, but... <laughs> Guys, I'm getting all these weird pictures in my head. I just get that, and I, this could be a special message for some of you, but I don't know if your person um, is like a gamer. I just got a picture of like this person sort of on the couch playing video games. Um, and what I, the reason why that image came through is because this is someone who gets so caught up in the moment of what they're doing that they they're missing out on like these big life decisions that they have to make like this is someone who gets so easily distracted by just these mundane sort of minuscule things in life like video games that they don't make these major life decisions and they miss out on big opportunities i keep getting like immaturity here um so again if this is not your pile definitely choose another pile but that's what i'm feeling from your person so i don't know if you want to wait around for this person i don't know if you should necessarily trust that this person has a plan because if they have a plan today it might change tomorrow um okay so but that's how they're feeling about you so i do hope that this gives you a little um, insight into what's going on with your person so if this video did resonate definitely leave your comments down below um, like subscribe if you haven't already if you guys wanted to book a personalized reading with me all of my information is going to be down below um, again I'm offering 15% off with the new year special so the promo codes down below just make sure when you check out that you hit the arrow or else the promo code will not apply all right, so guys, I'm sending you love and light, and I wish you all of the best on your journey. Take care.